Welcome to the Mama's Fit YouTube channel. This workout is both for pregnancy and for the postpartum, but it specifically comes from workout number 20 of our postpartum on-demand program. So if you like this workout and you want more, be sure to check out our online fitness programs. Our prenatal fitness programs and our postpartum fitness programs have two main formats. We have our app-based format, which is gonna be a list of exercise with demo videos, and we have our on-demand based format, which is gonna be full-length follow-along videos like this. Our app-based postpartum program also comes with these full-length workout videos for the first six weeks of the 16-week program. So if you want to stay strong throughout your pregnancy, find your strength again in motherhood, definitely check out our online fitness programs on our website at mamasayfit.com and use code YouTube10 to get 10% off any of our online offerings. This workout is going to be targeting a little bit more explosive power with low impact movement. So this is why it's good both for pregnancy and for the postpartum. We're going to start round number one with calf raises. So we're going to come up onto our toes and we're going to kind of pop up and back down. So it's going to be a little bit of like a pop or a hop motion, but we're not going to lift off off the floor. If you feel like you need a little bit more support, you can put your hands into a wall to do that same kind of hop tight motion where you're coming up onto the toes very quickly. Following that, we're gonna move into some dumbbell cleans. So you're gonna hold weights on each side and it's gonna be a really similar popping motion. So I'm gonna bend a little bit in my hip and then pop up to bring the weights up to my shoulders. So bring the weights back down. I'm gonna pop up and bring the weights up to my shoulder. During pregnancy, it can be really beneficial to use dumbbells instead of a barbell when you're doing your Olympic lifts because this allows the dumbbells to go straight up and down from your side as opposed to having to swing the bar out to clear belly out of the bar path. Next, we're gonna move into the standing archer press. With this variation, we have two, one with an attachment and one without an attachment. For the attachment variation, you're gonna have the band attached at eye level or above if you're using your door frame over the top of your door frame. I'm holding the band in my left hand and my opposite leg, my right foot is gonna step forward. Left foot is gonna come back up onto the toe and this leg is gonna step. So I'm gonna exhale to step as I press and as I press, I'm coming across my body and then back. So I'm exhaling to step as I shift my weight into this back leg. For the no attachment variation, I'm gonna have the band into my chest. I'm gonna step that left foot back and then exhale to press as I press that left hand forward and step forward with that left foot and then coming back. So same thing, I'm gonna shift my weight into my right leg to feel this big stretch in this glute as I press across my body. We're then gonna move into a kettlebell swing, which is gonna be another dynamic movement with the hips. So I'm gonna grab onto my dumbbell or my kettlebell. I'm gonna hinge forward out the waist, so think butt shining a light on the wall behind me, not the floor below me. I'm gonna exhale to come up, keeping that neutral spine, so I'm not leaning back, and then inhale to come back. So exhale up, inhale. And then we're gonna finish up each round with a bare pass-through with either knees down or hovering. I'm gonna reach underneath my body to grab that weight, bring it to the opposite side, and then switch. So exhale, bring it across, and then switch hands, either with the knees down or the knees hovering. For this portion of the workout, we're gonna need two weights for the dumbbell cleans. We're also gonna need that long resistance band for the standing archer press, and then one weight for the kettlebell swings and for those bare pass-throughs. It can be the same weight for all of the movements. So once you've got your equipment, let's go ahead and get started with round number one of three in today's workout. So we're gonna start round number one with those calf raises. So we can either do it without any support or you can lean your hands into a wall to give you a little bit of support. So we're gonna bend a little bit in the knees and then exhale to kind of explode up onto the toes and then back down. So exhale, go ahead and pop up and back down. If you feel like you're losing your balance, you can spread the feet out just a little bit more to give you a little bit wider of a base of support, or you can put your hands into that wall. Let's go ahead and grab onto our weights for the dumbbell clean. So we're going to do that same kind of popping motion, but now we're gonna let the weights come up with it. Exhale, pop up, bring the weights, inhale back down. You could almost think like you're trying to jump up as opposed to forward. So I'm not leaning forward with the cleans, 
I'm kind of coming more straight up and down. Go ahead and place those weights down. Grab on to your long resistance band for the standing archer press. I'm gonna start with pressing in the left hand. So my right foot is going to step forward, and left foot is back. Open up towards that point of attachment. Exhale, press as I step, inhale, come back. So my right leg is my stationary leg. And I'm thinking like my pelvis is pivoting or rotating on top of that femur. So most of the weight is in that right foot. I'm shifting and hip shifting into that right hip. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now my left foot is my stationary foot. Right hand has the bam. Step back with that right foot to open up. Exhale, step and press. Inhale, back. So again, I'm thinking my pelvis is rotating on top of my femur. I'm shifting my weight into that left hip. Lots of weight in the big toe of that left leg. Let's go ahead and release that band and let's move on to our kettlebell swing. So grabbing onto your kettlebell or your dumbbell. And again, we wanna think hinge motion, come up and maintain neutral. So we're not leaning all the way back. Go ahead and grab on to your weight. Hinge the hips back and then pop to bring the weight forward. And the weight doesn't have to come overhead. It can just kind of come to shoulder level. So I'm not using my arms to lift the weight up necessarily. I'm using the momentum for my hips to bring that weight up. So my arms are fairly relaxed. Let's go ahead and come on down to the floor for that bear pass through. So I'm gonna take that weight, put it to the side and knees can either be down or they can be hovering. Hovering will be more challenging. So we're gonna come to that tabletop position, reach underneath to grab onto that weight and then exhale to bring it across and then switch to the opposite side. And again, knees can be down or you can hover them. If you hover them, keep the knees fairly parallel to the floor so we're not lifting up each time we rock. Let's go ahead and move into round number two, back to those calf raises. So we're gonna kind of pop up on the toes and back. You can have your hands kind of wherever helps you balance the most or you can put them against a wall. So exhale, pop up, and then come back down. So it's kind of quick little motions. If you feel really unstable, just separate the feet a little bit more, or put your hands into a wall. So now let's grab onto the weight and it's that same kind of popping motion that we're gonna be doing to bring the weights up to the shoulders. So exhale, pop the weights up, inhale down. And again, it's more of a vertical motion. We're kind of like sitting straight up and down as opposed to leaning forward to swing the way it's up like a kettlebell swing. Let's go ahead and move on to that standing archer press, placing your weights down. So I'm gonna start with the left hand, holding the band and pressing. Right foot is gonna be my stationary foot. So right leg is the leg that I'm shifting my weight into. 
Exhale, press. Inhale, step back. Lots of weight in that right big toe as you step and press across the body. So now I want you to think about almost like you're trying to spread your upper back, like you're trying to like push something away to widen up in that shoulder blade. Let's switch sides. So left foot is stationary, band is in the right hand. Left foot is back. Exhale, press and step, inhale, come back. So lots of weight in that left big toe. This is gonna help you to keep that hip in a closed hip position, which is gonna help to bring more length to that glute, to help strengthen it and to improve pelvic floor function. Let's go ahead and move on to those kettlebell swings. And so the kettlebell swings are different than the cleans and the calf raises that we've been doing which are very up and down. The swings are more of a hinge to extension. So go ahead and grab onto your weight. Bring the hips back and then exhale to extend the hips forward, but we're stopping ourselves in that upright position. So we're not leaning all the way back. So you should feel your glutes kind of tighten at the top, but you shouldn't feel like a ton of compression in the low back. Let's go ahead and place that weight down and we're gonna finish up the round with that bare position pass through. So again, knees can be hovering or they can be down on the floor. If they're hovering, we're keeping the knees parallel to the floor. Go ahead and hover in the knees, reach across and then pull the weight under. You can almost think like secure your position and then reach and pull. So you kind of have this pause before you pull the weight across to make sure that you're stable in your body. Let's go on back to round number three to the calf raises. So this is our final round. I'm gonna put weight into more of my toes. And then again, we're gonna pop up and just kind of hold that top for like half a second. Feet a little bit wider or hold onto the wall for more support. Exhale, come up and back down. And you kind of have your hands wherever feels best for you for some support. So strengthening the calves in this like explosive type of movement is really beneficial because this is how we run. This is how we bound and leap from leg to leg. Let's go ahead and grab onto those weights for the cleans, which again is reinforcing that movement pattern. We're kind of vertical jumping, coming up onto the toes. Exhale, come on up, inhale, back down. And trying to go up and down fairly vertically, we're not hinging forward at the waist. Go ahead and place those weights down. And let's move on to that standing archer press. So band is in my left hand, right foot is stationary, steps forward, left foot comes back. And so we're integrating upper body rotation to match lower body rotation. Exhale to step, inhale, step back. So this is a pelvic floor and glute exercise. It's bringing more length to the glute and pelvic floor. In addition, it's an upper body exercise with that press. And so it's helping us move in to kind of the deepest end range position. So I'm finding that big hip shift in addition 
to the rotation and twist in my upper body. Let's go ahead and switch. So band is in the right hand, left foot is stationary, right foot steps back. Exhale to press, inhale back. So I'm finding that closed hip position on that leg. My upper body is rotating towards that closed position. So I have that twist towards that left leg. I can then kind of crunch into those side abs to bring more length to that right side and then pushing that shoulder blade across. So it's kind of bringing me into the deepest end range positions. Release that band. Let's move on to that kettlebell swing. So this one is more of a hinge motion while the cleans and the calf raises are more of like a vertical squat type motion. So grabbing on to the weight, bring the hips back and exhale to come forward. And again, it's not my arms that are bringing the weights up. It's the kind of the pop in my hip that is doing it for me. My arms are fairly relaxed. They're holding on tightly to the weight, but I'm not using my arms to like lift this up. And let's finish up with that bare pass through. So grabbing on to your weight, come into that tabletop position. Knees can either be down or they can hover. Go ahead and hover in the knees, reach across and then pull that weight under. Keep the knees parallel. And that includes today's power focus workout. This workout was both for pregnancy and for the postpartum, but this specifically comes from our postpartum on-demand program, workout number 20. And so this is the third part to that workout. So it's just a small piece of a much longer workout. So if you want to check out our online fitness programs, both for pregnancy and for the postpartum, be sure to check them out on our website at mamastayfit.com and use code YouTube10 to get 10% off any of our online offerings. We release new workouts on our YouTube channel every Tuesday. They're either mobility, pregnancy focused, birth prep focused, postpartum, or a combination of both. So if you enjoy this workout, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you get notified whenever we release new videos. 